So now what we're gonna do is download and install our code editor, right? So this will allow us to actually build our Django project out. And it'll actually show you a few features um, that are built into it for those purposes. And, and what I'm gonna be using is Visual Studio Code, which is also known as VS Code. Um, so you can go to code.visualstudio.com and this is the open source version. And of course it's for Windows, but it also works on Mac as well. And the environment is almost identical. So you click download and actually run through the installation process. I'm not gonna show you that because it's really, really straightforward. There's no configuration that we need to change. So you download and install that. I will mention uh, a couple others that are really good that I've used in the past. Sublime Text, I was a huge fan of Sublime Text. I think that what they've done is really great, um, but it's just missing a lot of the features that VS Code has that make it a lot easier for modern development. You could still absolutely build your entire project on Sublime Text, and I've done many just like that, so it's definitely still a good one. Uh, PY Charm is one that a lot of people seem to like. This is an IDE. It's a little bit closer to what VS Code is. Um, I don't think that it's better than VS Code, and VS Code is free. PyCharm is not. Neither is Sublime Text for that matter. And then another one I used to use a long time ago is Komodo Edit and Komodo IDE. Uh, I have since changed quite a bit and now just use Visual Studio Code. I mentioned the other ones because you will see them out there in the wild and it's often worth um, checking out these differently because you might find one that you really like and for a reason that I haven't found yet or you just like it better, that's all. Now let's go ahead and open up Visual Studio Code. And in my case, I'm gonna make a new window here. Uh, this window is just gonna be serving for this project in particular. And then file, add folder to workspace, and then navigate into your dev folder into CFE Proj, and then hit add. And with that, it gives you all of the files that are in there. It gives you an explorer window or explorer uh, that makes it nice and easy to just open up files, which we'll see in a second. And then I'll do file and save workspace as inside of that same directory. I'll say CFE proj and save that actual workspace. That allows me to just open this back up and, and run it. So one of the cool things is to toggle the terminal. So you can actually use PowerShell right inside of Visual Studio Code, which means I don't have to open up um, Visual Studio, or I mean PowerShell really ever with Visual Studio Code. And that's true if I use this on a Mac too, it would it would work in the same way, except it's using terminal instead of PowerShell. So if I hit um, control and uh, tilde, which gives you this back tick here, it will actually open up PowerShell and I can do pip env shell. And this will actually use my virtual environment that the CFE proj has. And we can designate this by doing pip freeze and what I'll see here is that Django is in there. Now, I'm not gonna spend a whole lot of time on VS Code right now because there's a lot that we could cover here. It's probably It might even pop up and ask you if you wanna install the Python stuff and notice that I have all these things over here. Just, just say yes to a lot of the default installations that it'll have. Uh, there is also this marketplace that you can just find all sorts of really cool things like the Python extension. Um, that you, you're just gonna wanna install. I mean, it's just a really, really useful extension to have. Uh, but, but like I said, there's a number of other ones out there. And I, I typically just go off of the ratings and the number of installations. If the number of installations is really high, but the ratings aren't great, uh, oftentimes I might give it a shot anyway. Uh, Cause you know, I don't rate things. I don't know if you do. Um, anyway, so there we go. We've got our Visual Studio Code project going. And you'll do this for every single project. Every time you create a brand new Django project, I throw it into Visual Studio Code and now I have my entire environment right here. And if I needed to have two terminal windows open or two PowerShells open, I can just pop this one open right next to it and you can run pip env shell. And don't worry, there actually is a way for this to automatically run your pip env shell. I'm just not covering that right now. Like I said, I'm not getting into too much depth here. Uh, but the idea is that we now have all of our Django configuration files. Uh, we can see manage.py. We can see all sorts of things like that. Um, so that's pretty cool. And, and notice that it's saying that Python's not installed. That's not accurate. Uh, we would need to actually manage where Python's installed. So perhaps we just need to uninstall and reinstall. And maybe that solves that problem because I changed my version of Python that I had on my system, as you may already know. 
Okay, so uh, now what we, we just need to do is actually start to create and use our Django project. But what I wanna do before I get there is, oh, here we go. So now everything's all set up. It says select Python interpreter. This is actually pretty interesting. I wanna type out CFE proj and actually use the CFE proj environment that I have created already. Um, so I actually don't remember which one of these it is. I don't think it's the VEMV one. I think it's the PIP EMV one. So let's go ahead and grab that. And so now if I close out those terminal windows and open up a new one, it automatically activates it for me. And there it is. It's showing me my CFE proj being activated and I can do PIP freeze in here again. And what do you know? That's pretty cool as far as every time I open up a brand new one, which you can do it with splitting the terminal or you can press plus and it'll open a new one. I mean, it, it is so cool how many that, I mean, it just makes, it makes running all these different commands that much easier uh, when it comes down to it. So uh, that is one of the winners with Visual Studio Code among many, many other things. Uh, but this is the essential part of actually setting up our Django project on Windows and any other Python project there is.